Hi Virgo, I just finished a, a reading for you guys and in the title it said something on the, along the lines of you having the opportunity slash potential to reconcile a relationship with someone and I didn't clean up the cards yet, I have them in front of me, I had just finished the reading but there's more that's coming through and I just want to sort of expand upon that because I'm seeing some stuff that I may not have clarified maybe you like got the full message before in the last reading but just in case and in case you like want a little bit more detail what I'm seeing with the the king of pentacles and justice is that the part of you that you can feel like I have a, a moral obligation to myself and I'm I recognize myself I identify myself as being somebody that has these very particular standards and maybe even just a standard of like this is right and this is wrong or this is acceptable and this is not which there's nothing wrong with that the part of you that can be leaning so far into that of like I'm standing in the right over here like that wasn't okay or that wasn't right the part of you that's leaning so far into that which it doesn't feel like it's actually in the middle it feels like you're leaning into that that is why it's so stressful like trying to connect with that person and that is where the tension is coming from but it can be something that's not being realized because you can look at it and be like how is it wrong for me to have standards or how is it wrong for me to know what's right and wrong but what's happening is that, and what I'm seeing with Ten of Swords and the Hanged Man can be that you're leaning so far in that direction because of pain that you still have that's associated with what happened with you and this person. And if you had actually resolved that, you wouldn't be standing so far on that side of things. You would be more in the middle and it would be easier for you to make up with this person. It would be easier for you to find it within you to be able to show up in a more... When it comes to what you have to give and what you bring to the table within your relationships and you being able to really be in that empowered space of I am showing up in my highest potential of my Venus energy what I'm seeing is that you're not yet there yet and even though again you can feel very much like like I am in the right over here I want to reiterate this having ten of swords and having hanged man can show that even though you can feel like I'm in the middle over here based off of what happened the past is still impacting the present moment here and you're not fully in this present moment because that unintegrated situation has not been released yet, which is just like a normal part of the process, yes. But if this 10 of swords, if whatever went down between you and this person, if you were really over it, meaning if you had really integrated it and released it, and things came back into the middle, you wouldn't be so far on this side and reconciling would not be feeling challenging with you and this person. It would not be feeling stressful. It would not be feeling like, why is this taking so much energy? It would be more easily things coming into flow. So just know that if you are, if you have, I'm seeing you have the potential for things to be good, like for you to make up with this person and be in a good place with them, what I'm seeing is that this can be one of those times where you feel like I'm right but you're still mad about something. Well, I'm using the term mad loosely to describe this. You still feel upset, you still feel hurt, you still fear, like don't want this to happen again, you know, like all of that like instinctive like ego stuff coming up to be like, I don't know if we should forgive them or if things should be okay. Like you really need to stick to your standards here so something doesn't happen again, you know, like that type of stuff. This can be one of those times, it is one of those times where when you when you actually do and when if you do integrate what had happened and you do release it because it's been integrated you can look back and be like i was being too harsh or i was judging too harshly or i was being too black and white 
because I was still upset over what happened, because I still didn't let it go, because I still didn't process it, because I still wasn't over what had happened. And you'll look back and be like, if I was in the place I am now emotionally and psychologically, I wouldn't have been doing things in that way. It wouldn't have been so severe, so extreme in that direction. And so I just want to bring that to the table that you can really be looking at something and being like, this is the standard, but what I'm seeing is that you're still holding on to the 10 of swords and that is very much influencing the way that you are sort of like narrating this situation with this person and also how you're interacting with them and also how you are slightly not totally there emotionally with them in a vulnerable way there's still a resistance to fully connecting because of still holding on to that pain of what had happened. And so it's just that like little bit of, I'm still keeping this turned away from you. And that is impacting things with you and this person. And that's why it's feeling like, why is it so difficult for us to make up with one another? Why is this feeling so stressful? And then you can be thinking, oh, maybe we're like not supposed to be connecting with one another. Maybe this just just doesn't work, but I'm not seeing that be the case. This feels very much like your guide saying that you have not fully processed something yet. It's very much why you're showing up in the way that you're showing up. Not that there's anything wrong with it. Like this is something that you can see very much as being justified given what had happened and your attitude coming into this of being like, I don't want this to happen again, and so I'm really standing within this, is the thing that's not allowing you to reconnect fully with this person and for things to actually be reconciled genuinely and fully with this person. Even though there's very much potential here for that to happen, this is something that can get in the way of that, actually, of that potential being realized. So that's what I'm seeing here is going on so just know that if you're looking at this and being like is there anything that i'm not seeing or like is there just anything that i need to see anything that i need to understand is it really like this is this like i'm seeing everything and this is just the way that it is i'm not seeing that be the case there's still more that hasn't been processed and what i'm seeing is that things can actually be actually fine with you and this person you guys can really reconcile and that is very much a possibility here because you have the ace of cups like this can really happen this is the potential of things like things can work between you and this person so what i'm seeing is that like all of this stuff has gone down okay you're sitting with this thinking 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 having king of pentacles and having eight of swords can be that part of you that's like do i like i have my standards and because of this i'm feeling like i can't really move within this and and it's having me feel like yes i may have this thing in front of me but i almost like don't know the right move for me to make because i want to honor myself but also is there anything that i'm missing and it looks like there's either something going on with your venus or something going on with your moon here within this situation and what i'm seeing is that once this is realized once the ten of swords is actually integrated and you're like, oh, I'm still holding on to this and you like see what's there and it comes back into a place of purity with yourself and even getting to that place like energetically and spiritually within you, that will be the point where you'll be able to make a genuine move from your heart space and only at that point. And until then, you can feel like I'm stuck here because of trying to deal with it in an earth way, like leaning so far into that and then not being connected with your water energy, which is going to allow you to be like vulnerable and have that sense of communion with this person, ultimately with yourself, but then with this person too. Your feelings are definitely coming from a place of self-preservation for sure. Again, that's not to that's not to invalidate that at all. But yeah, if you've been thinking like what do I say to them? What do I share with them or just like thinking about making a move in their direction? You will be able to do that, but only after this is realized, only after there's been a full realization of what's going on within you 
and seeing that like you're not totally over something you are still holding on to it which there's nothing wrong with that we're just saying what's going on and that it is impacting the way that you're showing up okay I'm pretty sure that that's everything. So with that being said, we are going to leave the reading here. I would like to thank everyone for connecting. Thank you for tuning in. I am sending everybody love and I hope to catch you guys next time.